As well as cryptids, Jeff Hatfield and I both have a really deep interest in the alternate history stuff. As you guys are probably aware, we believe that everything is connected. We're not really sure how, but we believe that some of these ancient monoliths and these mounds could have something to do with this phenomenon that we're studying now. Stay tuned to the end for an interesting interview. Here starts the mouth with kind of the head of the stake to that mound. And that one over there is the egg. Sasquatch Bigfoot enthusiast mm -hmm. and for some reason when I walk with her there you know you hear all the crashes mm -hmm. and the different things like something's mm -hmm. following you well, now what about that would you mind saying about the uh, okay. uh, the tree again so what you do is you go it's by the entrance of Serpent Mountain there's mm -hmm. the fence and then you're gonna start after that fence just a little ways you start heading down to Brush Creek and it used to be a clear deer path but they've put up some brush and things mm -hmm. that they don't like us down there and so you follow that path and the path is probably less than a fourth of a mile mm -hmm. and you walk on that path and um, I always give an offering because I feel like our elder brother sister um, this is in the native tradition we don't call them Bigfoot or mm -hmm. uh, it's our elder brother and sister mm -hmm. and so you go down there and um when you're walking all of a sudden you'll see this big stone rock that looks like a serpent's head mm -hmm. and um you'll see the eye and everything and um anyway one time when we were out there in the water because we'll do like these immersions and then i take people down the water um in a prayerful kind of an honoring way and uh, one time we were in the circle and we were saying our prayers and this big triangle shaped rock just out of nowhere was spinning and landed perfectly in between us all. Hmm. You know, it was just there. Huh. And you know, it wasn't to hurt us, it was just you know, here. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, you hear, you, hear, you hear weird things like that happen. Well, there's this other guy, his name's Daryl. And I don't know, Darren. I don't know that he talked to anybody, but he was a police officer over in Manchester. Um, it's down the ways, about, oh, 30 minutes from here. Mm -hmm. So he's a police officer and he had this grudge. He was just had an attitude, just angry. And one time late at night, he's driving and he sees this Bigfoot right in front of him mm -hmm. in the, you know, crossing the street. And he stopped and, the, and it stared at him and it was there. And ever since that day, it just changed his whole life. And it softened him and he doesn't, you know, but he's, he's a big enthusiast. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's made two large Sasquatches with fur and everything. One of them's in one of the Sasquatch museums, I think in Georgia, mm. he donated it there, mm. but you know, uh, if you stop at the shop, I can text my husband and give him, give you Darren's um, 
email. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't know if he'll talk to you because he's uh, pretty, you know, he loves his, his, his Sasquatch elders. Mm -hmm. hmm. So he's protective of them, which a lot of people are. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What I said was this mouth of the serpent right here, there is a fault line. So it's one of the few places on earth where you have an impact crater and a fault line as well. Mm -hmm. So if you were to have an actual compass, it wouldn't show you true north. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wouldn't spin around or anything, but mm -hmm. it wouldn't show you true north. Um, and the fault line also, you also have it over there by the, by the um, spring water. And the night that that uh, crop circle happened, it was a big thunderstorm. Really? In fact, there were people that were drumming up on a hill and they all ran off because of that thunderstorm and the next day the crop circle appeared and so you know it makes you wonder mm -hmm. is it made by the earth yeah and the magnetics or yeah. is it something else yeah and so, that and that uh that crop circles is how far from here just over oh the... it's at that that white house uh -huh. so it's like a fourth of a mile uh -huh. and then you're going to stand at that cement craft and look kitty corner there's kind of a bump which used to be a mound there mm -hmm that mound you know it, it was farm field but after that happened molly never replanted her field hmm. and the next year it came up like in a mirror image mm -hmm. the soybeans really yeah now the big mound there that as you come in mm -hmm. that mound when they took the body out of there for some reason below the knees were cut off and the hands but had that skeleton been put all back together it would have been about eight foot tall. Mm -hmm. So it's a very large skeleton. Yeah. Um, and then the first, as you first come in, there's a little mound. Yeah, I think we saw something That's the there. oldest yeah. mound. It's not yeah. the one by the picnic shelter. Mm -hmm. It's the other one. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest mound here. And when they yeah. took the body out of that, they found that it was actually petrified or solidified to the dolomite, hmm. to the rock there. And how large is that? I don't, I've never heard. So is this like, is this a, a red-haired giant, maybe, I uh, have no type clue. of they folklore or Nephilim or Never something? heard anything about that. Yeah. Just know that he was a tall fella. Huh. Yeah. You can go by. And there's, yeah. So, yeah, it's a special place. Well, you come here a lot then? Well, I live 3.5 miles down the road, uh -huh. originally from Idaho Falls. Uh -huh. Grew up on the Snake River, and now I live close to serpent mound yeah um but uh at there if you go 3.5 miles and then you turn right on 41 so you go left right you'll see the dollar store and a dairy bar and across the way we've got a trolobite gallery and a rock shop hmm. The Trollobite Gallery, my husband's, and it was in the Smithsonian for 25 years hmm. on display. And then after 25 years, he said, I'll take it back. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and those are the big, are the, uh, those are the big circle, the Trollobite? No, the... they, they look like roly polies. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he has one of the largest ones they found because this used to be a um, ocean bed. Uh-huh. So his, he's got one about this big that's the state fossil there. So, and it's hmm. the first eye system on earth. Very, very sophisticated. So, hmm. and then in the, the 80s, I think the Reagan administration tried to get a hold of him, wrote him a letter and wanted some specimens for the fake hops, which is a trilobite. And he said no, but it, the reason is their eyes were the most sophisticated and still are, mm -hmm. you know, up close, far away. And, um, yeah, he could tell you all about that. Yeah, well, Mike, stop by on the way. Yeah, he's also got a map where he can show you exactly what's on the map and, and ask him for some breccia. Okay. Breccia is part of the, part of the crater. You know, you, di you didn't get any, like, meteorites yeah. here. Yeah, But it's part of the crater and mm -hmm. the striations and he can tell you about that because he's he's got a scientific brain yeah. <laughs> i don't really have to yeah. yeah well thank you for your time what brought you out here oh um